The movie starts with Bryn, who's good at sewing, living in her old house. While she's outside mailing some packages, she sees a strange round mark on her lawn. After she mails the packages, she sits by her mom's grave and hears faint voices far away. It makes her feel uneasy, so she leaves, and the people nearby act like they don't see her. Later that night, she writes a letter to her friend Maud who passed away before going to sleep. In the middle of the night, weird sounds fill the air around her house, and all the lights turn on suddenly for no reason. Music starts playing but stops suddenly, and then a strong gust of wind surprises Bryn. She comes out of her room and sees that the house is dark because the power's out. Going downstairs, she sees that the front door is wide open, which makes her feel scared as she looks into the dimly lit living room, feeling very uneasy. Bryn got scared when she heard strange noises during an interview. She wanted to leave, but a creaky floorboard caught the attention of a creature. Bryn realized it was an alien. She got scared and ran back to her room. The alien followed her and opened the door. Bryn hid behind her bed, shaking with fear. When the alien jumped on the bed, Bryn slid under it and watched from there. Suddenly, the alien jumped off the bed and went to the window, making a loud noise. Then it jumped out of the window, leaving Bryn terrified but also relieved. She quickly closed the window and locked her room. As she closed the door to keep the alien out, she realized it was on the roof. Bryn quickly closed the door, but then the household gadgets started acting strange. She had to turn them off one by one as they malfunctioned. When she unplugged the lights and the house went dark, she heard a scary noise from upstairs, which made her even more nervous. As Bryn tried to call for help, she was met with a loud noise, and strange things started happening in her house, like objects moving by themselves. She saw the alien coming down the stairs and hid by the fridge, hoping to stay safe. As Bryn reached out to grab the phone, contemplating another call for assistance, the alien deftly intercepted it, preventing her from taking hold. With a quick motion, it returned the receiver to its original position. Bryn, taken aback, felt herself cornered beside the fridge as the alien skillfully maneuvered its door. With determination, she pushed against the fridge door, trying to escape from the advancing alien. But she accidentally got hit by a flying door, thrown by the strange activity happening around her, and fell in shock. She tried to run away desperately, but the alien kept chasing her through the chaotic scene. Suddenly, as the alien got closer, Bryn managed to grab something nearby. In her frantic attempt to escape, Bryn accidentally stabs the alien in the head. The unexpected attack doesn't work, and the alien collapses and dies in front of her. Bryn tries to understand what just happened and decides to cover the dead alien with a bedsheet. When she tries to call 911 again, she's annoyed to find that the phone still doesn't work. She realizes there's still no electricity in her home, and her car's battery is dead too. Determined, she decides to ride her bicycle to the city to get help. On her way, she sees a courier delivery truck turned over, which seems strange given in the situation. She's curious and worried, so she decides to check on her neighbors, heading toward their house. As Bryn hurriedly makes her way to the police station, her eyes catch sight of peculiar patches scattered across the ground, resembling the mysterious circles she had noticed on her lawn earlier. The urgency of her mission heightens her awareness of these oddities. Along her route, to her surprise, she encounters Maud's parents unexpectedly. Before Bryn can utter a word, she is met with an unexpected and hurtful act. Maud's mother, fueled by anger, spitefully spits in Bryn's direction before swiftly departing, trailed by Maud's father. The unexpected encounter leaves Bryn feeling a mix of shock and devastation, her sense of helplessness deepening. Exiting the police station, tears streaming down her face, Bryn finds herself overwhelmed by a profound sense of isolation and hopelessness, her heart heavy with the burden of loneliness and despair. Boarding a bus in a desperate attempt to flee the city, Bryn's eyes are drawn to the strange circular patches adorning the front yards of nearly every house she passes, even spotting them in her neighbor's yard. Suddenly, her senses heighten as she becomes acutely aware of a presence behind her on the bus. Rising from her seat, she is caught off guard as the man behind her forcefully pulls her backward, his true identity revealed as an alien. In a frantic struggle to break free, Bryn pushes against him, only to lose her balance and fall leaving her vulnerable to the advancing alien's menacing approach. Amidst the chaos, another female alien on board attempts to intervene, but their efforts are disrupted as the bus driver abruptly slams on the brakes, causing the male alien to stumble. With panic setting in, Bryn's instincts drive her to seek refuge in a nearby private property, only to find the door firmly locked, further heightening her sense of desperation. Bryn notices a cemetery next to the building, and upon visiting, she finds the grave of her best friend, Moth. As her situation becomes more serious, she notices the weather getting worse, with dark black clouds gathering above. Fearful and confused, she tries to leave the area. When she gets back to her town, she's shocked to see all the townspeople, 
under the control of the aliens, with their hands raised in surrender. Filled with terror, Bryn flees back home in search of refuge. Upon entering, she is immediately greeted by the unsettling odor lingering in the air, emanating from the lifeless body of the alien. The unpleasant scent sends shivers down her spine, intensifying her unease. Following a trail of slime leading from her doorstep, Bryn's heart races as she realizes the encroaching presence of the aliens. With danger looming ever closer, Bryn takes decisive action to fortify her home, securing all windows and doors in a desperate attempt to protect herself. However, her efforts prove futile as the aliens forcefully breach the main door, shattering her hopes of sanctuary. To her surprise, their focus seems to be directed towards retrieving their fallen comrade rather than causing her harm. As the extraterrestrials depart with their fallen ally, an eerie calm settles over the once tumultuous scene. Yet, Bryn's anxiety continues to mount as she finds herself trapped in a tense standoff within her own home. Seeking solace from the impending threat, she retreats to the sanctuary of her basement, hoping to find safety amidst the encroaching darkness. With a pair of scissors tightly grasped in her trembling hands, Bryn seeks refuge beneath a nearby table, her heart pounding with fear as the alien invaders draw ever closer with resolute determination. As one of the extraterrestrials locates her hiding spot, Bryn's instinct for self-preservation kicks in, prompting her to wield the scissors in a feeble attempt to defend herself. However, her efforts are swiftly thwarted as the alien effortlessly disarms her with its enigmatic powers, leaving Bryn defenseless in its wake. Momentarily distracted by a photograph capturing a cherished memory of herself and Wad, Bryn seizes the opportunity to evade capture, unaware of the stealthy approach of a smaller alien from behind, silently closing in on her unsuspecting form. In a desperate struggle, Bryn manages to fend off the small alien by biting her hand and locking herself in the bathroom. However, the alien forcefully enters, grabbing her leg as she attempts to escape through the window. Bryn fights back, using a mop to keep the alien at bay, but the alien breaks the mop and corners her. Using a broken stick, Bryn finally knocks out the alien and escapes through the window. As she tries to flee, she collides with a massive alien emerging from her neighbor's house. Before she can escape, the alien man from the bus grabs her hair and drags her towards another alien, who is making strange hand signals. Above them, a spaceship activates in response to the alien signals. Bryn manages to free herself just in time and kicks the alien swiftly, causing him to fall under the spaceship's light. As he starts floating towards it, the lights suddenly go out, and he falls back to the ground. Bryn watches as the spaceship breaks apart into many pieces, flying in different directions. Desperately running away from the pursuing alien, Bryn sees the alien get entangled in electric wires, allowing her to escape for the time being. As Bryn tries to make her way home, she notices something falling from above, realizing the alien chasing her has appeared on the roof. It lets out a scream, triggering responses from nearby aliens. The alien moves closer to her but loses balance and briefly passes out after a fall. Quickly recovering, it gets back on its feet. In her frantic attempt to escape, Bryn sees the alien trapped inside a car leaking fuel. Taking advantage of the situation, she sets the car on fire. As she tries to run away, Bryn is terrified as the car bursts into flames from the fuel leak, causing the alien's demise. Just as she starts to breathe a sigh of relief, a spaceship descends to abduct her. Narrowly avoiding the spaceship's grasp, she rushes back into her house, quickly locking herself inside and securing the doors. Inside the storeroom, an alien approaches and finds Bryn's childhood toys and letters written for Moth. Hiding behind some boxes, Bryn watches as the alien investigates. When the alien's attention is drawn to photos of Maud and Bryn, Bryn attempts to attack from behind but is quickly thrown aside. Trapped in a red light, Bryn is immobilized and stuck to the ceiling. As an alien approaches, she is filled with dread as it regurgitates a parasite that crawls into her mouth causing her to wake up screaming and fall from her bed. Realizing it was a nightmare, Bryn is relieved to see Moth downstairs but quickly realizes it's not real. Panicked, she tries to remove the parasite from her mouth, but it slips from her grasp, filling the room with loud noises. An alien spaceship appears, shining a bright light on the parasite. Terrified, Bryn runs away as multiple spaceships fill the sky, creating an eerie atmosphere. 
Deep in the dense woods, Brynn encounters something otherworldly. There, she faces an extraterrestrial being that transforms into her likeness, launching a vicious attack that leaves Brynn wounded and impaled by a wooden shard. However, with sheer determination, Brynn defends herself, using a paper cutter to slash the alien's throat as it collapses. As the alien drew its final breaths, Brynn extended a comforting hand in its last moments, offering solace amidst the chaos. However, her brief respite was abruptly shattered by the ominous sounds heralding the arrival of yet another colossal alien presence. Enveloped in its radiant glow, Brynn found herself swiftly whisked away into the confines of the alien spacecraft. Within its otherworldly interior, Brynn encountered an array of inquisitive beings, each possessing an aura of intrigue. Their gentle touch served as a catalyst, unlocking a long-buried memory hidden deep within Brynn's subconscious. A vivid recollection from her childhood emerged, depicting a heated argument with Maud that tragically culminated in Brynn's fateful outburst, forever altering the course of their lives. Communicating amongst themselves, the aliens made a decision. A few days later, Brynn returned to Earth, her wounds healed, and a newfound sense of contentment enveloped her. Surprisingly, her neighbors, now inhabited by the same aliens, coexisted peacefully by her side. As the film reaches its climax, Brynn is depicted dancing and reveling alongside the townspeople, experiencing a cathartic release that signifies her forgiveness of past wrongs against her best friend. This emotional journey was made possible by the aliens, who provided Brynn with the chance to confront and seek redemption for her guilt. Brynn's encounter with the extraterrestrial beings marks a profound shift in the unfolding events. Once perceived solely as adversaries, the aliens undergo a remarkable transformation, evolving to empathize with Brynn as they acknowledge their shared status as outsiders in this unfamiliar realm. As a result, they choose to release Brynn from their grasp, recognizing her no longer as a threat. However, this newfound empathy does little to deter them from their destructive path. In a chilling twist of fate, the aliens unleash chaos upon Brynn's neighborhood, spreading their parasitic essence amongst the remaining townspeople. This horrifying development spirals into an apocalyptic nightmare, casting the world into a realm of darkness and despair.